everybody. drowning at sea, or being taken to Rome by ship, that it wouldn't like traveling by boat. But I usually find it most relaxing, until they bring out the hyenas. Very true. Last time, Ollie and his brothers had been loaded on a ship that would take them to Rome to fight in the Colosseum. Jehu searched for them, signing on as part of a crew of a small sailing ship, while Rupert and Smoothfeather flew on ahead. Are we ever going to get some rest? Why did you tell me we were shot big? Which brings us to our next story <laughs> called No Way Out. Welcome to the seaport of Anzio, the gateway to Rome. Well, Ollie, I guess we got ourselves in a real big mess this time. You think God can help us up? We messed up pretty bad. I don't see why not. Everybody makes mistakes. And if you're sorry for them, then I'm sure God will help you. I, for one, am not too worried. Well, you already made a deal with that lion. What about us? The deal was for all of you. Well, there's a lot of other animals to worry about, too, besides that big cat. <laughs> Look! There's the three hyenas we've been hearing about all trip. Show no mercy if you fall into our jaws. If you try to fight us, we'll rip you with our paws. Awfully small to me. Yeah? I bet you can't fly like this! Ah. 
You're Hannibal, aren't you? Yes, but you must be new around here. How did you know my name? No time for talking now! Look, I just undid your locks, act like they're still fastened, and tonight we meet over by the stables after everyone's gone to sleep. You think you can hold off the hyenas until then? Sure, they do this every week with new hyenas. They just do it so, in the ring the hyenas will attack me. They try to make it seem like I'm harmless. Watch out! Time to go! Just be there tonight! I got a surprise! I hope you fellas will be ready for tomorrow. I know the hyenas are ready. <laughs> It'll be fun watching you run for your lives. Who did that? You just wait, little fella. We've got a special plan between you and our new lion. We'll see how long you last. <laughs> You're all wet. My Uncle Hannibal will let you have it good. Where is he? He's up there in the circus. He's been in it for years. He's too big for any of them to get him. They tried. They clawed his ears and bitten his toes. But my uncle, though he's slow, always beats his foes. There's a legend in the jungle about a giant beast. Brought him to the human world to face the wild beasts. He's astonished all his captors, defeated every foe. When everyone is fast asleep, he stays up on his toes. He's Hannibal, great crazy. By the bushel, 40 every day. His quarters are magnificent, they overlook the bay. He's taken on the greatest, he's crushed them under his feet. He bears the skies of many fights, he's never known defeat. He's Hannibal, the great, greater than them all. Oh, oh. He's Hannibal, the great, you can't make him fall. No way, no how. You're not gonna make him fall. He's Hannibal. He's the greatest. The greatest of them all. <laughs> oh. He's Hannibal, the great trainer than them all. Hannibal, the great greater about. Why, Thelonious swore that he would not hurt anyone, and I sure hope Rupert's got a plan to get us out of this mess. Boy, am I ever sorry I got in with the wrong crowd. Those hyenas sure look mean. I've never seen teeth so sharp. Wait till my Uncle Hannibal gets you. I don't think that's very smart, infuriating them like that. We're supposed to love our enemies. Not do mean things to them. We can love our enemies, live our life with sympathy. When treated bad, we should do good. Let them know they're understood. When we're wronged, we must do right. Turn our cheek when in a fight. Power of love will always save us. We live the life that Jesus gave us. 
Looking love our enemies Looking love our enemies Cause it's not easy doing right When you've been hurt You want to fight You want to fight But you've got to love your enemies Miles away, Jehu was wondering if he'd ever get to them on time. The ship he was on continued to make stop after stop, taking on new cargo. It would still be another week before he would arrive in Italy. The crowd gathered for the circus, anxious to see the new animals that had been brought up from Africa and throughout Europe. Hannibal had remained undefeated and continued to provide amusement. Emperor Nero sat with Agrippa from Palestine, and they decided to take bets. Well, our Hannibal has never been defeated. I doubt if that pack of jackals or the wild black bear will ever be able to do the job. He's big, but he's not quick. Look, they're bringing in some donkeys from my domain. How appropriate. I've heard that one donkey's known to speak. Tell me if it's one of these. And if it is, I should like to hear from myself. Marius, make sure the muscles are off those donkeys and direct them over here. I should like to ask for myself. Speak now, and I shall give you your choice of which wild animal to face. Say something, Ollie. They can only understand you. It is true. I speak. Well, not only a prophet who claims he's risen from the dead, but now an animal who really does speak. You will have your choice of who you and your friends would like to face in the ring. What would it be, young one? The hyenas? The tigers? The king of the jungle? Well, most noble emperor, although you think you decide our fate, our fate is in the hands of a much greater power than you, emperor of Rome. It is true, although I appear to be a dumb animal, yet even I know it is no sport to watch the suffering of the innocent. Someday, the blood you spill, you will have to give an account for, to a power much higher than you. You speak like a follower of Jesus, and what could you know of him? I was the one who carried him to Jerusalem and to his grave after he was unjustly put to death. And now, yes, you hear me speak, but I tell you, his witnesses shall be heard throughout this earth and replace the wickedness man does to man with love and charity. What? You dare contradict me, the emperor? Bow down and swear allegiance to me, or you will face Thelonious and be ripped to shreds. Worship me, and I shall let you live. Very well. Remove the other donkeys. You shall face Thelonious by himself. And if you live, you will be free. See what your god says. Ollie wasn't sure whether or not Thelonious was going to keep the deal that Rupert had made with him. He knew that it had been days since they had fed him. He ran around the ring, kicked his hooves up in the air, showing the crowd he wasn't afraid. From the way Thelonious began to stock on it was quite obvious that he had no intention of keeping his deal. His appetite overrode any promise he had made. Although small, Ollie was in excellent shape, and his courage was immeasurable. As Thelonious charged him, he had an idea. The audience was ecstatic. Never before had they seen a contest so unevenly matched. Never before had a lion been unable to bring down such a small prey at the first attack. My friend can't last in there much longer, Hannibal. You've got to help him. You're not afraid of that beast, are you? No, but it's hardly my place to risk my life to help a donkey, although he spoke nobly. I'm sorry to have to do this, Hannibal. But your chains are off, and you have to crash through that gate and help my friend! Oh, 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 oh. Stop!
stomp on it. Oh, 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 oh. Get, get off. you didn't notice. Hurry, get Moana. Maybe you can stop Hannibal before he kills Thelonious. I'm the greatest. I'm the king of the jungle. No one else. I'm the king of the circus. Well, let in the hyenas. We'll see who lives and who dies. So they caught you as well. Stay back, nephew. I'll have to finish off this beast. The crowd watches as Polly goes over to Thelonious lying wounded on his side. He begins to lick his wounds and talks to him. Get up, Thelonious! The hyenas are coming! I can't save you, you gotta get up! Please! Move aside, little donkey. We have a taste for jungle meat. There is no need to shed your blood. You would devour the weak, the wounded? You would... It is the law of the jungle. There's a higher law. If you would take him, you must fight me. Polly, are you crazy? There's seven of them! Don't rip me to shreds! Save yourself while you have a chance! You heard Nero, he said you would go free! Freedom? At what price, Rupert? The death of our friends? <laughs> the crowd goes crazy! Never had they seen animals come to the rescue of other animals. Nero was furious! The bloodshed and horror he had wanted to see were replaced with compassion. The keepers come out and remove most of the unconscious hyenas off the grounds. A cart was brought out and Thelonious' body was taken to the infirmary. Well, I promise to let you live, but you shall not go free. The crowd loves you too much. Yes, young friend. We'll see how many predators you will defeat. I say you're not a donkey but a warrior who's been bewitched. I am but a donkey. If I seem to be a warrior, it is because my heart has been transformed, as I wish yours would be. I ask your permission, Emperor, to be dismissed so that I may look after my friend, Thelonious. You call him a friend? Even after he tried to kill you? Is it not true that you starved him to death to make him more dangerous? How can I blame him? He was only acting on his own instincts. Feed him well and see how many helpless victims he destroys then. I will not rest until I see this mockery of a circus destroyed. Did you not know that God made you the caretaker of his kingdom? Not a destroyer. And yet, look, even now, you are disappointed that we did not even destroy one another. It is really sad. Even the Pharaoh saw the error of his way, Caesar. Can't you see the writings on the wall? We've got a story to tell.
<laughs> the crowd disappears, talking about what a sensational show it was. Ali and his brothers must wait to face death another day. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. And now it's time once again for Farmer John's Corner. It's good having a day off once in a while, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just feet in the pool, leaning back, <sighs> enjoying the day. Hey, wait a minute. I know what we're missing. We need some boats in the water. Beep, beep. <laughs> doot, doot, doot. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love boats. Did you notice that in the Adventures of Ollie, he has all sorts of different rides on all sorts of different kinds of boats? It's amazing. In fact, I'm going to show all of you a bunch of different kinds of boats. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. <laughs> so, follow me. Farmer um, John? Uh, where, 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 where do you go? Where are you going? Today, we have a lot of different kinds of boats. But they were very different back in Donkey Ollie's time. Here are the remains of a boat that was built over 2,000 years ago, near where Donkey Ollie lived. By studying what's left, and by looking at drawings, we can make a good guess as to how the boats really were back then. It looks like we might have to row our way back in. There were no motors, just oars to row the boat, and the wind. There was a storm. You were pretty much on your own. Captain, it would be best if you put it into the harbor. Otherwise, I fear you will lose your boat. Lower the jib! Bring the mainsail down to half mast! Today, there are indeed a lot of different kinds of boats. There are working boats, and 
fun bones. I better get back. They'll come back eventually, I think. <laughs> and we're back. Whoa! But, yeah. Did you like seeing all those boats? Why were you? What boats? Mm, uh, yeah, let me sit down here. <laughs> I always love looking at these little boats. Wait a minute. That's my flip. Mr. Shivers! <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? <sighs> Goodbye, boys and girls! In our next episode, Jehu arrives in Rome to help. Gods take this one away! But he is captured and thrown into a cell. He and Ali are outfitted as gladiators, and they must go into the Colosseum and battle for their lives and the lives of their friends. <laughs> That's next time on The Adventures of Donkey Ali. See you again next time! Bye now! We'll never forget you when we're gone.